Facula Enterprise Edition to the rescue. Thanks for joining us at the Bacula Systems web series. This video will be a brief demonstration of the vSphere plugin in Bacula Enterprise Edition, including the automatic configuration wizard in BWeb. We'll start at the BWeb configuration page and open the VMware Center. This gives a listing of the vSphere hosts that are known to the director and available for plugin backups. To simplify management of many vSphere hosts and ever changing VM layouts, we created the Backup Multiple Virtual Machines wizard. This wizard will automatically discover and create jobs to backup your VMs. From here, we can decide to backup a data store, a resource pool, a single VM, or all VMs currently available. In this case, we'll choose all VMs. The next step will be to define the options we want for the jobs that will be created for each VM. In this case, you'll note we've disabled compression because we'll be writing to a deduplicating storage device. And indexing is enabled for faster single item restores. Next, we'll give the jobs a template name for automatic creation and select the client, the schedule for the backups, as well as the Bacula storage device that will receive the data. This information can also be pulled from a job def or a job template if you prefer. At the last step of the wizard, there are a few important options. We can rerun the discover to make sure that we catch any machines that have changed since the start of the wizard. If this is a new ESXi host, a client configuration may need to be deployed. And finally, there's an option to set up an admin job that will add and remove backup jobs automatically on your desired schedule. The admin job will rerun the auto discovery and add jobs for any new VMs that are found. It can also optionally remove jobs for VMs that are not detected. It is also possible to have the job run and create the modifications, but not apply them and rather leave the final review and commit to the Bacula administrator. You can schedule this admin job to run daily, or you can create a custom schedule and add it to the job manually. After completing the wizard, the results of the auto discover are displayed and you can review the VM backup jobs that will be added to your configuration. You can see that your existing Bacula configurations are zipped up just in case something goes wrong. Jobs that have been removed will show up in this listing as well. After a commit and reload, the new jobs are ready to run. The next step will be to run backups and then more importantly, test to restore. Now that the jobs have been created and we've backed up our VMs, we can do a test restore to make sure that everything is working correctly. We'll start a restore in BWeb and go directly to the job ID that we want to restore. Notice that you can browse and restore just a portion of the vSphere directory if desired, and this can be restored to any location you want. The VMware plugin also supports single file restores, so you could put a VMDK file onto your file server, for example. However, in most cases, you'll be restoring either a single file or a whole VM. To restore the whole VM, just drag the root of the backup into the restore window and move on to the next steps. A forward slash in the where field ensures that the VM will be restored to the location it came from, potentially over the existing VM if you choose. The vSphere tab lets you adjust this behavior. You have the option to restore to a different data store, a different ESX host, and to give the restored VM a different name. For this test restore, we'll just restore the VM with a name that makes it clear that we are testing and we can remove the VM after verification. Switching over to VMware, you can see the restore process happening in the VMware logs. And this is the back of the restore log for the successful restore. The same information will appear in BWeb. All that remains is to find our restored VM, power it on, and make sure it boots. There's much more to the vSphere plugin in Bacula Enterprise Edition, but it would take too long to show it all here. This includes the single file restorer feature. Please get in touch with us at baculasystems.com to learn more or to try it out for yourself. As always, you can get a free trial from baculasystems.com, and thank you very much for watching.